Hello and welcome to Current Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at the Asus C434 versus the HP Times 360 14C Chromebook. In this Chromebook comparison, we'll look at everything that's different between the two, so you can decide which one's best for you. The first thing I need to mention is both of these Chromebooks are really good Chromebooks. They come from the medium spec range of Chromebooks. So if you've got one of these, I'm sure you're gonna be happy with either one. This video isn't saying that the one is really good and the other one is total rubbish. That isn't the case at all. Both are really good Chromebooks. It's just that if you haven't yet bought one of these and you're interested in buying one of these, you may want to consider this comparison because it will help you decide what's right for you. What's right for someone isn't necessarily gonna be right for someone else, which you'll find out in this video because at the end of the video, there's gonna be an overall winner. Personally still, I think I would choose the one that doesn't win and I'll explain that during the video. So the first thing we'll look at, which I think is what most people look at when buying a new laptop, is the actual build quality. The build quality for a lot of people is important. Some people don't see it as being important. Me personally, I do like having a laptop that looks nice. And also you want, when the build quality is not just about looks, it's about how robust they are as well. So the Asus C434 is a really nice looking laptop. It's slimmer than the actual HP Times 360. And although it's only slimmer by a couple of millimeters, you can really notice the difference. Don't get me wrong, the HP Times 360 is still a nice looking laptop, but I just don't think it looks as good as cool as the Asus C434. The Asus C434 is aluminium all over, so the lid's aluminium and the underneath is aluminium, is what you'd sort of expect when you're buying a medium spec Chromebook. With the HP, it's got an aluminium lid, but the underneath is plastic, and that isn't something you see as much. That being said though, it still looks good. The plastic is really decent plastic, and you can't really tell that it's plastic apart from the touch. So it's not that it makes it look tackier, but that is something to bear in mind that it does have a plastic underneath, whereas the C434 is aluminium all over. Another thing when it comes to the build is the weight as well, which I think is definitely important. If you want a laptop that you want to take out with you, it's got to be lightweight. And the HP is a tad heavy compared to the Asus C434. If you're looking for a laptop that you also want to take out and about with you, certainly if you're gonna be taking it to work with you every single day and you have to get the train or the bus to work, you want a laptop that's gonna be compact and it's gonna be lightweight. When it comes to the actual dimensions, both are very similar. The C434 is slightly smaller, but nothing crazily different. But with the thickness, you can definitely tell that it's much thinner and it's lighter and that's very important to recognize. And the next one to go on to is performance, which is really important when buying a new laptop. Both Chromebooks come with three different configurations. There's an entry level model, a medium spec model, and a high spec model. The Asus C434 comes with an Intel M3 8th generation processor with a base speed of 1.1 gigahertz and a turbo speed of 3.4 gigahertz, and it's got four megabyte of cache. Cache is important because cache is used on the processor for data that needs to be processed regularly at really fast speed. So if you store data in the cache, it's much quicker to read that than if it's stored anywhere else. So it does help speed up a computer for regular tasks. So the more cache you get, the quicker your Chromebook will feel. The HP Times 360 14C entry model comes with an Intel Pentium Gold 6405U processor. 2.4 gigahertz base speed, but only two megabyte of cache. So that's two megabyte less cache. So you it will feel a bit more sluggish. Also, it doesn't have a turbo speed. It just has a base speed of 2.4 gigahertz. Both are dual core when it comes to the entry level models. And the base level speed of the Asus C434 at 1.10 gigahertz is lower than the base speed you get with the HP Times 360 of 2.4 gigahertz but it has a turbo on the Asus C434, so it is capable of speeds of 3.4 gigahertz. So when it comes to the entry level model, the Asus C434 is a better performing laptop. That isn't the case though, when you get onto the medium spec and the high spec models. The medium spec Asus C434 comes with an Intel i5 8th generation processor, with a base speed of 1.30 gigahertz and a turbo speed of 3.90 gigahertz. Again, it comes with four megabyte of cache, which is what you'd expect, so that's fine. 
the medium spec HP Times 360 comes with an Intel i3 processor. So instead of the i5, you get on the Acer C4, 434, it's an Intel i3. But don't just assume because one's an i3 and one's an i5 that the i5 is automatically going to be better than the i3 because it doesn't work like that. It also depends on the generation of the actual chip that's used. The Intel i3 on the HP uses a 10th generation processor compared to the 8th generation processor used on the Asus C434. And that has a base speed of 2.1 gigahertz and a turbo speed of 4.1 gigahertz with four megabyte of cache. Now you can obviously see there that the base, the clock base speed is much, much faster on the HP Times 360. Both are dual core, core again, but when it comes to performance of the medium entry level Chromebook, the HP will win. And when we get onto the high spec, the HP blows away the high spec Asus C434. And again, the Asus C434 uses an Intel i7 processor, and the HP, the high spec on the HP, is an Intel i5 processor. The difference again is the one's an eighth generation and the HP is a 10th generation, but it's not just that, it's the actual number of cores. On the i7 on the C434, it's got, it's a dual core, and the HP i5 is a quad core, so it's got double the amount of cores running at that base speed. So when you look at the base speed of the high spec at 1.5 gigahertz for the Asus, compared to the HP at 1.6 gigahertz, don't look at that and say, oh, it's only point one faster it's not it, it's got double the amount of cores so it's much faster and then we look at the turbo 4.2 on the asus and 4.2 on the hp so again the same but the asus c434 you're getting four megabyte of cache with the hp you're getting six megabyte of cache so that extra two megabytes of cache will mean you, more can be stored there and that again will make it feel faster. Without question, when it comes to the high spec models, even though the Asus is an i7 and HP is an i5, the HP will blow it away because it's, it's quad core over dual core. But we need to be realistic here. I'm not saying that that means the Asus C434 will not perform. It will perform, no matter which model you go for. If you go for the entry level model, that will be fine, that will work absolutely fine. But you go to medium spec, high spec, they will perform really well with Chrome OS. So although the HP is more powerful, with what you can do at Chrome, Chrome OS at the moment, you wouldn't necessarily see much, you, you would see a difference, but it's not that it's, it's necessarily needed. That may change in the future if we get Steam for Linux apps and we start playing games locally on our Chromebook rather than streaming games, then you will appreciate that extra performance. However, that it also means with that extra performance, you will just have a faster laptop. It's, it's naturally going to be the case. So the next thing we're gonna look at is RAM and storage. When it comes to the RAM and storage, it's difficult to compare the two. And the reason why I say that is because the Asus C434 Chromebook is, is a really popular Chromebook. And I'm not surprised because it is a great Chromebook, great to look at as well. It is a popular Chromebook. And because of that, Asus has brought it out in many different configurations. So it's not as simple to say the entry level comes with four gigabyte, of RAM and 64 gigabyte of storage because you can get the entry level with eight gigabyte as well. It depends and it will depend on the re retailer as well. So you'd have to have a look at the different retailers, see what models they've got, the configurations and choose the one that's suitable for you. In relation to the configurations that are possible, with the Asus C434, it's either gonna have four gigabyte of RAM or eight gigabyte of RAM. When it comes to the storage, it's either gonna have 32 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, or 128 gigabytes of storage, and that's eMMC storage. It's a bit different with the HP Times 360 Chromebook. There, the configurations seem a lot more set. So with the low spec one, it's four gigabyte of RAM and 64 gigabyte of storage. With the medium spec, it's eight gigabyte of RAM and 128 gigabyte of storage. And the high spec again is eight gigabyte RAM with 128 gigabyte of storage. And that's also eMMC storage. So eMMC storage is the cheapest type of storage you get. A lot of Chromebooks use eMMC. It works perfectly fine. There's not a problem with that. However, it would be good to have seen SSD because SSD 
is faster, it's more reliable. And when you think about if we're going to be playing games locally in the future, I think SSD storage will be vital when you compare that to a Chromebook with eMMC storage. At the moment, no, it's no big deal, but if you're transferring large files, you will see that an SSD storage is much, is much faster. But both of these Chromebooks come with eMMC. And now we get onto the all important display. Personally speaking, I think a display is really important when buying a Chromebook. I have bought a cheap Chromebook recently and that has quite a mediocre display. But I don't mind that because of the fact of why I bought that Chromebook and that's just to use it very casually and take it out with me. So I didn't want to spend too much money. So that display is a bit mediocre. When it comes to these two Chromebooks, they both have really good display displays. Both are 14 inch, both use full HD of 1920 by 1080p. That's all you really need if I'm being honest with you. Don't get me wrong, it's nice if a Chromebook comes with more resolution, but don't ever look at full HD on a 14 inch display and think that's not good. That, that is very, very good. The important thing is both have an IPS panel. IPS panels are so superior to any other panel, unless you go in really high spec where they've made their own panels such as like Samsung and Google has with the Pixel Slate. But generally speaking, with an IPS panel, you'll get great viewing angles. And what I mean by that is if you're not looking at the laptop directly on like that and you're sort of to the side, with an IPS panel, you'll still be able to see it and it should still be good quality. With the cheaper TM panels, you'll see that it deteriorates and it's the same as if you've got it going up or down, you've got to have it directly right in front of you, a TM panel. With IPS, you don't. Both have IPS, so that's nothing to worry about. That's really good to see. They're both hybrid Chromebooks, so by that I mean you can use them as tablets or you can use them as laptops. And because of that, it means they both come with touchscreen, which again is great if you like Android apps. Although a lot of Android apps can work without a touchscreen, some Android apps don't, and some Android apps are better with touchscreen. So it's good to see that both got touchscreen as well. If I'm being completely honest with you, when it comes to the actual display, that there, there, there's not much of a difference. They're both very, very similar. The Asus C434 does have slightly thinner bezels around the, the display, which I think makes it look a little sexier. And it's not just about, well, thin bezels are just about the looks, if I'm being honest with you, but it's not just that. It means that they've been able to comp make the laptop a bit more compact so it's not as big if you've got thin bezels so that's really good to see but the difference is the brightness the asus c434 comes with about 300 nits of brightness compared to the hp which comes about 250 nits of brightness now that's going to be a problem if, if you're if you're in a place where you're in direct sunlight a lot or you sit by a window a lot or you use your laptop outside a lot you'll appreciate the extra brightness you get with the Asus C434 compared to the HP Chromebook. And now we get on to connectivity. Connectivity is something a lot of people think about last, but it is quite important to make sure you've got the right connectivity. When slim Chromebooks first started to come out, you noticed that a lot of them removed USB type A and only provided USB type C. Now that's fine, but the problem is if you've got older peripherals like a hard disk, a keyboard, or a mouse that use USB type A, you'd have to use an adapter. The adapters are cheap, but it's just that extra method of doing that every time, which is a bit of a pain, if I'm being honest with you. So it's good to see that they've, the manufacturers have realized that and they've started to bring them out again with USB type A as well. So when it comes to connectivity, again, both are roughly the same. There are some differences which we'll go through, but both have two USB type C ports and there's one either side. Having one either side is really good because then if you're sitting at, at, on, on your sofa, for example, and your power socket's there, if you only had the USB C on this side, you'd have leads trailing or if you've got it on this side you can just plug it in so it is really good to see that you've got a usb type c either side and a usb type c can be used for charging and also connecting an external display as well both also come with a usb type a which is great for anyone who still has older peripherals that you use usb type a both have a headphone microphone jack so you can use a wired microphone or a wired headphones if you haven't got wireless headphones or bluetooth headphones so that's good to see and both have a micro sd slot which means if you want to add further storage at a later date you can do with an sd card it's worth pointing out you can't install android apps on an sd card so if you're looking to, in to increase your storage at a later date you and it's because of installing android apps 
you wouldn't be able to do that on an SD card. However, you can set it with applications such as Netflix and, and a lot of the mu um, music streaming applications as well, where the, the music or the videos that you download do go onto the storage SD card. So it's good for that. So it's good to see both come with an SD card. When it comes to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, Asus C434 was released before the HP x 360, so it uses the older Bluetooth 4 and Wi-Fi 6, whereas the HP uses Bluetooth 5 and Wi-Fi 6. The difference is Wi-Fi 6 is good if you're in a household, and this may, if, you, if you're in a household where you've got a family, it's gonna be really important, but even if you haven't and it's just a couple or if you're on your own, you could still have a lot of devices in your house that are comp competing for a Wi-Fi connection. With Wi-Fi 6, that deals with that a lot more. It's a lot more stable, so you most likely not have a problem with getting a Wi-Fi connection. However, to take advantage of Wi-Fi 6, you've got to bear in mind that your router also needs to be Wi-Fi 6. A nice thing to see on the HP, which you don't get on the Asus C434, is there is a little switch on the side, and if you switch that along, it turns off your camera, which is really good, because if you're using Zoom, Yes, you can do it through the software, but you sometimes will have to worry about as it works, as it not. So it's good to see there's a physical switch. Okay, so I mentioned that the HP was released after the C434. So that's something you need to consider when it comes to the AUE date. The AUE date for the C434 is June 2026. And for the HP, it's June 2028. So the HP will have two years of extra Chrome OS updates. If you're buying a laptop and you're buying a laptop that you want it to last for as long as possible, then the HP is obviously going to be a better choice. So the overall winner, if you've got to look at it on the basis of the performance and perhaps the AUE date. So I would say the overall winner is the HP x 360. That being said, that doesn't mean the Asus C434 isn't a good Chromebook. And this is when I get onto what I would choose, because although the HP has two years of extra updates, and although it has better performance, I'd be quite happy with the performance you get with the Asus C434. And although it's got two years less updates, I prefer the look of the C434. I prefer the fact it's lighter weight than the HP. So for me, if I wanted a Chromebook because I like it to look nice and also I want to take it out and about with me, I would still go for the C434. And that's because I don't really worry about the fact that it's got a Chrome OS update expiry of June 2026. That's still five years. I think five years for getting out of a laptop is, is more than enough. But you know, if you are thinking about, no, I want a laptop to last me, then of course you'd want to go with a HP. And if you're looking at overall performance, then the, the, the low spec on both the Asus C434 is a better performing Chromebook, but when you go into medium spec, that's when it goes to the HP's better performance. And then when you go to the high spec, the i7 C434 against the i5 HP, the i5 HP is going to be a much better performing Chromebook. So I hope that video helped. If it did, please like the video below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.